This is my first time cooking a roast pork shoulder with Cajun seasoning and mushroom gravy. Let's do this. For the Cajun seasoning, you'll need one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, take a screenshot now so you don't get lost, one tablespoon of dried thyme, one tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of dried parsley, one tablespoon of Creole seasoning, half a tablespoon of adobo seasoning, half a tablespoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. You can use your fingers to break up the clumps. Let me show you the easiest and cleanest way to remove a pork shoulder from its bag. You cut open the top of the bag and then simply pull the shoulder out. As you can see, all the juices remained at the bottom. Let's clean the shoulder up a bit. Remove any membranes and loose excess fat. After that, add one tablespoon of cooking oil on each side so that the seasoning sticks to it. What you're gonna do next is make some cuts in the skin of the shoulder. Flip it over and make some holes in the meat as well. After that, put a garlic clove in each of the holes you make. Personally, I like to remove the tips from the garlic cloves before using them. Now, let's rub our seasoning onto the shoulder. Make sure you add seasoning to the cuts that you made earlier to make this shoulder pop. Put it everywhere. Coat the inside of a pot with cooking oil spray. Put the pork shoulder inside with the skin side facing up. Bake on 450 for 30 minutes. Cover the pot. Then bake on 300 for 4 hours. Uncover the pot. Set your oven to broil on 500 and bake the shoulder for another 5 minutes to make the top skin crispy. My only mistake was leaving the pork in the oven on 500 for 10 minutes. None of the meat was burned, but some of the seasoning on top was a little burnt. Notice how crunchy the skin is. Other than that, the temperature was perfect and the taste was amazing. The meat falls right off the bone. Next time, it'll come out perfect. For the mushroom gravy, you'll need two and a half cups of the leftover pork stock, four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of olive oil, five garlic cloves, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and one lime. Start by cooking the mushrooms. First, add two tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of olive oil to a pan. Add garlic when it gets brown and then add your mushrooms. Mix it until it has this beautiful color. Remove the pan from the stove and pour the contents into a separate bowl. Now we'll make the gravy. Add two tablespoons of butter to the pan on medium heat. Add two tablespoons of cornstarch and mix it up. Add two and a half cups of pork stock from your cooking. If you don't have enough, you can add beef stock to your mix. There's no need to add extra seasoning either because your stock is already seasoned enough. Add the mix that you poured in the separate bowl from earlier and let it all sear for five minutes until it has this consistency. Finally, cut your lime in half and squeeze the juice onto the gravy. You can use half of the lime or a whole lime if you wish. I serve this dish with a side of white rice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this recipe. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know if you're going to try this. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next Try My Chow recipe video. I wanna quit my dead end job and do my own thing. I wanna pack my things and fly around the world. I wanna throw a big and invite all my friends I wanna be myself and not a social media fake I'm gonna quit my dead end job and do my own thing I'm gonna pack my things and fly around the world I'm gonna throw a big party and invite all my friends I'm gonna live life to the fullest because God wants me to I wanna live